the main attraction to Proctors was the, the scale and scope of work they were doing, dealing with some really like interesting problems, simple things that prove really powerful tools. I'm Neil, um, I'm Head of Development at Proctors. I joined Proctors as a senior developer, uh, focused on back-end applications. So in my role, it's a lot about uh, mentorship, architecture of the systems, talking to clients about their, their needs, understanding them, so we can best build solutions for them. We use two frameworks mostly, Drupal and Symfony. In the development part department, we've got back-end developers, front-end developers, and also the Q QA team. What is a back-end developer? The front end is about the presentation layer of data and like that interaction. And the back end is about uh, building that data, having an interface to create it, and then communicating that to the front end or you know, other services. As back end developers, we do a lot of troubleshooting and problem solving. It's obviously a lot of code. It's also uh, knowledge and utilization of AWS. We create websites, microservices, APIs. We design, develop, architect. We also do a lot of maintenance of those applications ongoing past their go live. So initially we'll uh, work towards this, this product to start off with, and then we'll uh, have different phases of work after it to do different features, improvement, requirements that we've already set, or maybe knowledge that we learn from building the first round of development. There's the support side of it as well, where there might be issues that are raised in production with like older systems that uh, we have to uh, react to and address. When I was at college, I realised I was quite interested in computers. So that was a broad spectrum of uh, computing, as well as uh, like the design of systems. Moved into a marketing agency where we were, we were doing small uh, sites. I had more of an interest in the system side of it, so came to Proctors. Anyone that knows me around here, if you say APIs, then I'm, I'm there straight away. I'm like, what, what, what are you talking about? I joined as a senior developer and then uh, became a principal architect, focused on integrations, APIs, microservices. Then I became uh, application lead for the for the back end team, so I started focusing more on mentoring and you know one to ones and uh, more focus on helping people uh, progress themselves. Now I've become head of development, helping the the wider process, the wider efficiencies of the team. The main attraction to Proctors was the, the scale and scope of work they were doing, dealing with some really like interesting problems. Got a bit of a thing about like data and APIs and things. I, I like to visualise that coming through and. How, how that can impact and how good solid understanding of problems and how to efficiently and like simply to solve them. Simple things that prove really powerful tools. Gives me quite a lot of pride in my work. When you understand the tooling you've got and the, the problem, you can step away from it and you can see how you can make it much more efficient. One thing I was working on recently is this kind of longer running process. We have to perform it offline. Um, locally so that we can scale up the amount of memory we're using to do it. Nothing too crazy just to get a report and I managed to get it down from like 10, 20, 30 minutes running to like 20 seconds. It's a more useful tool rather than like this effort to get this data out of it. I've dabbled in most of the clients that we've had but I've, over the years I've mostly been focused on Panasonic like the European teams and the, the Japanese teams for Osman Clark. Lately I helped architect that solution, help build it, help the team finalise it and recently a little bit of UK Cherub. We have built um, kind of off our own Steam this microservice for the PSD. It's really powerful and able to serve websites live and it has been doing that for a couple of years in production. In our legacy systems we had we had this API that basically gave you the same data as all the product data or the media data and how to use it, you know, the control of that information. It was really slow, the old system, you couldn't really use it live. You had to take a replication of that data in any of the, the systems that were using it. Totally tore down that idea, architected a microservice with different storage mechanisms in it, which now is industry quality and lead uh, tooling and we're onboarding more vendors to that uh, service as well. It's nice to be able to you know fine tune that system as well to tailor it better to people. A lot of people are about purely about culture you know and 
some people are purely about you know what tooling they're going to be using, what exposure they're going to get to like big big problems or big client bases. Proctors have all of those things, so we're doing a lot of AWS work now, so we can move some of these chunky processes into serverless architectures. And we're also you know continually working on our uh, like culture, the ethos of how we go about work, the values that drive us to do the work we do. How do we define what's good? How do we define what's complete? How can we best use our clients' resources to be able to you know, give them the best value? And we're continually working on each aspect. At Proxys, we've really got a, a really diverse set of people. We have recruited from like code schools and as well we've, um, we've got um, two juniors. So we don't really have a base baseline, they must have this and that. What, what we really want from people that are joining the company are like an aptitude for being able to solve problems. There's, you know, a lot of support here for people that are, you know, working through problems. You know, I'll go talk to people to help me with things. We've got a lot of knowledge that we can all draw on and everyone makes themselves available for that. So it's, it, it's really helpful when you're trying to learn particular things. And that may be development, I'm trying to learn development, or it may be, I'm trying to use this, uh, learn this tool that I haven't used before, but I know someone else has. Like we do lunch and learns where people just talk about topics that are, you know, pertinent to them in, in their lives. And, you know, it's a good opportunity for us to all learn something. We've got a good culture in that kind of support, which I think is pretty powerful. And it's something we can build on and keep making use of. Flexi working for me is a really good thing that allows me to be able to dedicate a bit more of my time to my family. Uh, so that work at Half 7, get a load of, you know, set up in my own mind as how my day is going to go, get get ready, you know, get clear off some to-do lists and things like that. And then I can finish early. It means I've got a bit more quality time with my family. I've got two small children, they're six and four. If I was to get home at half six, half seven, then I'm seeing them at, at their worst and they're seeing me at their worst. So if, if I'm finishing, you know, mid-afternoon, I've maybe got a, a little bit more energy to give them. Every Wednesday, so we have a collaborative gaming session, which any, anyone's welcome to taken out a bit of their frustrations on Mario Kart. On occasion, like the, the schedule is somewhat loose, but um, all the tech department get together and go for a night out, uh, an activity, or it might just be, you know, some quiet afternoon beverages or evening beverages. I think one of the, the bigger ones we did recently was Axe Throne in Bristol, which was eventful. So everyone got behind that, literally. No one was maimed, which was the highlight. Um, I have to do what? I, I have to clap? You're not going to give me enunciation and elocution lessons now, are you? No, because I can't speak. I'm from the Midlands. So yeah, well, I've got, I've got one worse than you. And then I moved down south for me. Um, what's that? What's that? What do you say? For your, for, your, for, for me sins. For me. <laughs> then I moved down south for my sins. What got you to where you are today in your career? What did you study? How did you get here? Yeah. I'd graft. What about like, you know, what do, what do you like about Proctor's culture? Is that something? Ah, <laughs> I'm Edwin <Winchester>. <laughs> <laughs> And I haven't been told off about it yet, so, it, it, you know, people must appreciate it. Yeah, that's the sleep when you are on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. I thought that, just block, block me video, mute him down, 10 minutes, can come back in. <laughs>